Hi guys, welcome to a new tutorial with me, aka. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make this kind of tile and cover on Photoshop. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so you're going to start by making a new document. So you're going to go to File, New, and then you're going to set the width to 851 pixels and the height to 315 pixels. And then you can put the background content to so compare. You don't really have to, but it's just easier that way. And then once you're done, you just need to type OK. And then you're going to go to your bucket tool and right click to your gradient tool. If you already have your gradient tool, you don't have to right click on your bucket tool. But anyway, you're just going to use your gradient tool. And you can choose the gradient that you want to use. So I'm going to use this one. And you're just going to drag your cursor across your document so that it will fill in the gradient. And once you've done that, you're just going to make a new layer. And you're going to go to your brush tool and you're going to use any brush that you want to use. And you're just going to stamp that around your timeline cover. Okay, once you're done stamping around, you're just going to right click under your brush layer. And you're going to go to your blending options. And you're going to go to stroke. And you're going to go to gradient. And you're going to use the same gradient that you were using. And I know you can't see it right now, but that's okay. You can put, you can also put a drop shadow, and then you can change the size to whatever suits best, and this can. And you need to be put five or four. And then once you're done, you just need to press OK. And you can go back to your gradient layer. You can right click, and you're gonna go to blending options. And then you're gonna go to pattern overlay. And you're going to choose a texture or pattern that you want to use. So that would blend in. I'm going to use this one. And you're going to change the blend mode to anything that suits best. And then once you're done with your blend mode, you're just going to press OK. So I might have that pattern on the description. I'm not really sure yet, but you can check and I have it on the description. So yeah. Okay, now you can go back to your brush layer. You can go back to your blending option. So right click on that layer, blending option. And this is optional, but you can put a pattern on it. So you're going to go to pattern overlay. And you can choose any pattern that you want to use. So I'm going to use this pattern. And then you don't really have to, but yeah, it's best to put a pattern on it so that it will stand, stand out more. So yeah. Once you're done, you just click press OK. Now you can go to your elliptical marquee tool. So if you can't see, you're going to right click on your rectangular marquee tool. And you're going to choose elliptical marquee tool. And you're just going to like, draw a circle around. Not a circle, but sort of like an oval on your calendar. Like that. And then you're going to make a new layer. And you're going to color that in. So you're going to right click on the gradient tool and go back to your bucket tool. And you're just going to color that in randomly. And you can deselect that by like control C. And you can put it in the middle so that it doesn't look odd. And you can resize it by pressing control T. Okay, so now you're going to right click. And you're going to go to blending options. And then you can go to pattern overlay and you can choose like a wooden pattern. So I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna use this pattern. And then once you put your pattern, you can go to stroke and you can use the color black or any color really, but yeah, I just like to use that. And you're gonna change the size to one. And then you're just gonna press OK. Now you're gonna make a new layer. You can hold the shift button and you're going to go back to your circle layer by so pressing on it and you can right click. While well, you have both of these layers selected, you're going to right click and you're going to go to merge layers. And once you've merged them together, you're going to right click and zoom. And you're going to go to zoom direction. And then you're going to go to stroke. And you can change the fill type to gradient. And you can use the same gradient you were using before. 
And you can change the size to any size that you want. I usually just put three or five. And then you three in the front. And then just press OK. Okay, so now you can add your text. So you're gonna put your text like somewhere in the somewhere in the middle. You don't have to, but it looks really good in the middle. So yeah. Now you can put like your text to text on it, so you can make it So if you don't know how to do it as a text, I will link a tutorial down below so you can watch that if you want to. So I'm just gonna make a quick text text. Okay, so now once you put your text text, you're pretty much done. So now you do right click on any layer, you're gonna flash the image, and then you just can save it. So what if I save it? So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thumbs up if you did enjoy it and or it helps you in some way. Comment if you have anything to say or if you have any requests or anything. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. So I might make a resource of text for this cover. But I'm not really sure because I also have to make the 350 sub tag. By the way, thank you so much for doing this with the subscribers. I will be making a text soon and the video will be up soon as soon as I can. So yeah, I might make a resource of text in this tutorial, so if I do, it will be in the description. So yeah, make sure to go ahead and check in the description if I did make a resource of text. So yeah, anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!